I lived a long time feeling powerless. And um, the myth of powerlessness turned out to be the following stories. One was, if I release myself from these artificial constraints that I keep myself in, I will not be lovable. I will be too much. I will be out of control. I will be unsafe. That was the risk, right? Because everything, all benefits have a risk. And so that risk was too great for me to bear. About a year ago, I started a challenge and I was in a place where I was in big trouble. And I remember telling myself, like, if you do not give this everything you've got, you may not make it. So I did. I gave it everything. I took all of my safeguards off, all of my reins off, all of my self-consciousness. I just was too desperate. The desperation drove me to that place of freedom. And so what I discovered is I was not destroyed by that intensity. I was not unlovable by being powerful. And by holding, allowing my power to coalesce and come out of me, I was able to break barriers that I never thought I would break. So what I invite you to do today is to look at the ways that you keep yourself in check. Now, I'm not saying lose your mind and don't be responsible. At, you know, like I'm not saying like, jump off the edge of the cliff. But what I am saying is stop keeping yourself in that small box. Stop playing small. Inhabit your body. Inhabit your whole life. Where is it in your life that you are holding back? That's the question I ask myself today. And I am doing a lot of kind of scholarly study. I'm really drawn to do that right now. But I wonder if that's a distraction from what I'm really supposed to be doing. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm struggling with today. So I ask you, are there things that you are doing that are worthwhile pursuits, but that are keeping you safe, that are keeping you reined in, that are keeping you from pushing your boundaries outward? That's what I think I might be doing. So that's the question I ask you to look at today. Are you being powerful in all parts of your life? Are you expanding and pushing outward? And when you feel that resistance, what is it? Is it true resistance of responsibility or is it a story of limitation? Because I think mine might be. So I invite you to ask that question of yourself today. And I will see you tomorrow.